Well, greetings, everyone, and welcome back to our Standing Watch program. When we look around us, how pleased do we think God is with us, with us as a nation, with us as a world? Does it matter whether we live in accordance to godly standards? Does it matter whether we accept God's prerogative to tell us what's right and what's wrong? Does it even matter what God we pray to or whether there actually is a God? Why don't we accept the concept which Charles Darwin has postulated and we have had all this promotion now, all these celebrations regarding Mr. Darwin and how he came up with this evolutionary concept and why can't we just accept what science tells us? even though the Bible clearly tells us something different, does it? I mean, however you slice it, if you look at what the Bible tells you, how the world came into existence, and how you, as a human being, came into existence, there's no way that you can possibly connect the dots and say, oh, well, this is in accordance with how the evolutionary concept tells us. You know, even the Catholic Church, which is very strong when it comes to abortion, for example, it's waffling when it comes to the evolutionary concept. It doesn't quite know how to approach it. it. doesn't quite know how to look at it. And when it comes to worshiping God, well, what God, may I ask, are we supposed to worship? Does it matter? I mean, are we supposed to worship the God of the Old Testament, the God of the New Testament, the God of the Hindus, the God of the Muslims? What God? There used to be a time when American presidents would speak up for the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the father of Jesus Christ. But it looks like that time has long gone, and now we are looking at a country which embraces whatever religion there is. This morning I just recorded a sermon for our German audience in German, talking about, amongst other things, the fact that as a true Christian, you've got to believe what the Bible says, including the fact that the Bible tells you that there is no way to God the Father except through Jesus Christ. Are we as Christians embarrassed to stand up for Christ? Are we embarrassed to preach and to believe and to live by the word of God telling us that there is no other name by which we can become saved except the name of Jesus Christ? You see, the way we live, the way we act, the way we perform tells God a lot. And the way we perform as a nation tells God how we actually look at him. Do we care about him? All the problems we are having, the wars over there, which are still going on in the Middle East and Gaza, I mean, that's not over yet. When we look at all the terrible disasters we are facing, even increasing plane crashes, natural disaster. Now, of course, Mr. Obama speaking to Congress and telling Congress that America is at the crossroads, that the world is looking at us for leadership and we need to provide it but that we should be prepared for a worse time to come before they become better and get better. And some experts tell us that 2009 won't be the year where we have a tremendous increase of economic advancements, but that it might even take to 2010 or later. Now, looking at all these things, do we really believe that that is reflective of the way how God is really pleased with our lifestyle, with the way we look, what we do? Well, my friends, let me tell you that the Bible tells you what's right and wrong, and you had better accept that. And you don't have to be apologetic for it. I mean, other religions tell you that they believe that they and only they are the exclusive ones. Why do we have to be apologetic about believing in the God of the Bible? Believing in what the Bible tells us? Believing in the fact that abortion is wrong? Believing in the fact that homosexuality is wrong? Believing in the fact that creation was done through God the way it's described in God's word? And we don't have to be apologetic for that and say, oh, well, you might as well accept Darwinism and scientific explanations because that's what everybody else does. And we don't have to be apologetic for the fact that we have a Savior and that is a Savior for all of mankind and He and only He is the one. And if you don't accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, as it says in God's Word, you have no future, and you cannot expect to be saved. Now, this is really the teaching of the Bible, something older presidents, ancient presidents, believed in. Something which now we find people are waffling about and apologetic about and don't want to accept it. Well, I hope you are different. I hope you are standing up for Christ. You are standing up for the truth. You are standing up by the way you live for God as an ambassador for Jesus Christ and God the Father, showing the world how, if we would only live by the word of God, things could be different. 
Thanks very much for watching. Until next time, this is Norbert Link for the Standing Watch program.